morning guys. Today is uh, September 9th and I am headed to the Lake Region Pioneer Threshers Association tractor show in Dalton, Minnesota. It's about 6.15 in the morning and we got a lot of rain but uh, hopefully it clears up later today about a two and a half hour drive for me so I'm gonna be searching for uh, my grandpa's farm all M uh, it's a 1940 rumor has it the guy that um, the guy that uh, got it from my uncle restored it and uh, brings it to this show so we'll find out other than that, probably walk around the flea market, take some pictures and video of happenings at the show. This year I think the feature is Massey Harris maybe in Ferguson. So we'll uh, we'll see what it what it brings about when we get there. It's it's claimed to be the king of the giants, so the steam tractors and the large vintage gas tractors and kerosene we'll uh we'll see i haven't been there since i was probably 10 years old maybe so it's probably been about 20 years but hopefully it turns out to be a good show i can only stay for the day that's why i'm leaving so early that and it's a long drive but we'll see what happens all right, stay tuned. Well, we're out here at the uh, 2016 Dalton Lake Region Pioneer Threshers Association show. I'm going to give you a quick bird's eye view as to what we see here. Maybe not a bird's eye view because I'm not high enough, but uh, this is just a few of the things. A couple of crawlers sitting here in the in the row. But the flea market is just beyond this and everybody's starting to open up. So, but there are, looks like quite a bit of things to see here. A lot of things to see. Lots of tractors already lined up. So we'll just start walking. I've already seen that there's a couple of really nice restored ones. So do see one that could potentially be my grandfather's M. This one here. Let's take a look and see what we've got. It's got the same throttle that he had, but this one has a wide front. So I'm not sure. No, 
No, this is 14069. But it is real close. This has got to be a 19... Uh, Well, early 1940, because it's got the early seat channel, or the early channel transmission top, rather. So, I did have my hopes up for just a moment, because it has the same throttle that my grandfather's had, which I also installed on, on my M, my 1947. But let's keep walking here. Sure are a lot of interesting interesting and very nice restorations here so far and I've only gone through one row. There's a large farmhand loader on an H. I believe this one is in my original brochure that I have. I can't recall if I if I showed you guys that brochure or not. I'll have to uh, double check that. But I know you guys will get a kick out of this right here. The politician's wagon. And I'm pretty sure you guys know why it's the politician's wagon. And this here, I am not really sure what it is. I don't know. I guess maybe we'll see what this does later. It looks like some sort of maybe a, a training a training boom to train you know break horses possibly. I'm not really sure. Quite a few nice Alice Chalmers. Let's take a look at this one here. I haven't, I haven't seen one like this. Very, very interesting. A Model E 1929 from Don Halverson in Thousand Oaks, California. He came a long ways. Another real old Alice Chalmers. It's got to be a 1920s model, early 1920s, I'm sure.
number 5632A. I'm not sure on the model, but it's obviously an early 20s. Very original farm all regular. Another farmhand loader setup. This was on a reverse to all his Chalmers. Seems that a lot of things are organized by brand at this show. Looks like we were in Farm All Row, now we're walking through all his Chalmers and John Deere. of very cool equipment here. I believe they do have quite a few examples of steam equipment at this show. I believe they have a, a steam shovel or a, something. I can't remember, but I remember seeing on the website that they do have... Well, there's quite a selection of Fords here. Very nicely restored. Really a nice, a nice diverse amount of tractors here. Diverse makes. Like I said, I haven't been here in about 20 years, so it's nice to see something more than just John Deere, all his Chalmers, and Farmall. You know, there's quite a few Fords and. pretty impressive and I don't think I've seen this many case tractors either which is what we're coming up on next they're running the sawmill I believe that's a case LA that they're running the sawmill with an impressive line of Minneapolis Molines here. I'll take a couple of pictures while I'm 
while I'm standing here. I'm multitasking. And I see there is an early case SC, but it's not a center exhaust. Let's try to find out uh, So it does have the pressed steel front wheels. It's got the larger shell rear fenders, the early style air cleaner. It's also got the six spoke steering wheel, the long handled throttle, straight handled throttle instead of the curved throttle. Here is the sheet. Originally purchased, well not originally, it was purchased around the year 48 from Cath Implement in Detroit Lakes and ran on the same farm until 89. Very nicely restored. It also has the rubber handle still on the clutch lever. Later models, the handle up top was cast. It was cast into a larger, a larger handle. This one does have the optional hitch platform, which mine originally did have. but I've decided I decided to remove that and take and make diamond plate but the serial number is four five zero seven 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 zero Very nicely done. I believe here we have a very original Silver King tractor. I apologize, I gotta take a few pictures here. A lot of very nice collection of Minneapolis Molines here. A 2132 Twin City. Here's a G704 with front wheel assist and an M504 with front wheel assist. LP, both of them. We have a high crop, Minneapolis Moline. Model R with a cab, very nicely done. 
see if we can get a look inside here. Very nicely done. Over here we have a section of Oliver and Cockshut it looks like. Oh, and I've found the large area of steamers. Large area of gas, large gas tractors, kerosene tractors, and steam engines. But it's a little bit of a little bit of a walk from where we are now. I think that this Minneapolis collector, it must be a family of collectors. They seem to have a lot of LP tractors, so they must have a, a hankering for LP. This is something new that you don't see. This Twin City tractor has chains for cleats. That is something new. Haven't seen that in my travels. A few Minneapolis cross motors. Looks like we've got quite a lineup of old trucks. This must be a horse-drawn fire carriage, which is pretty neat. I'm going to pause the video here while we take a walk up to Steamer's Row. Well, I made a little pit stop because I found a building that I just had to get inside of. Seems like there's quite a lineup of farm malls in here. There's also two very large, um, probably Fairbanks Morse maybe, two-stroke diesels, I would guess. Let's go ahead and take a walk through here. you guys can read that sign it's a 75 horsepower two cycle diesel Fairbanks Morse used to generate current and feed mill at Millerville Minnesota so that's where I believe this originally started I'm 
gonna take a walk through the uh, building over here. This is a very, very large steam stationary engine. Very large. Hundred and ten ton is what this engine weighs. Quite the monster. And I believe this is a couple of large boilers here. Well, let's see. Uh, I think I found Steamer's Row here. scale steam engine here and I believe this is the gas engine house and I believe this is the blacksmith shop
very large steam engines here. Looks like we have a steam roller. Large lineup of threshing machines, separators. Very large machines here. Definitely living up to the name that they are king of the giants here. Let's take a walk down by the uh, gas and kerosene tractors and then I'm going to pause the video for a while so I can take some pictures.
very interesting very interesting machines here 1910 Avery 10 This is a Russell. You wanted to ride home, didn't you? Uh, huh? Sure. <laughs> It's always on time. It's never been anything but on time. It left on time and arrived on time. They were bad last night. Mosquitoes. Yeah, I tried mowing the yard for a while. Board!
the advantage of living only about eight miles away from the show is I can just drive them there. So this is about three hours for me, two and a half hours. Do you have a trailer? No, I don't. No. I have a friend that has a, I think it's a 32 foot deck over. What equipment do you have? I have a 47 Farmall M, a uh, 41 Case SC, and a uh, 42 John Deere A. Restored? The Case is. Um, the John Deere I finished rebuilding two years ago. I still have to paint it. And then the 47M, I've got just rebuilt this last winter. But I had a, I got to get a different cylinder head for it. I've had some problems with it, so. Almost done, though. Yeah. Are you a mechanic? By hobby. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing it about 20 years, so since I've been about 10 years old. How did you start? What got you going on? My grandpa, he lived in Ashby on Pelican Lake, oh. and uh, he had a, the Case SC that I've got, okay. and he also had a Farmall M. I just, you know, being around that when I was young. What's your grandpa's name? Norman. Norman. Christopherson. Uh, he passed in 93. But, and actually, I came up here because the, the Farm All M he had, rumor has it there's a gentleman that has it that takes it to this show. But I haven't been able to find it, so... If I could find it though, uh -huh. I would give him my name and number and say, yep. if you ever want to sell it, just let me know. Type of show like this. It isn't. They don't have as many display buildings, but they've got you know, a blacksmith shop, a sawmill, craft buildings, a diesel building. They have a, an engine building, like around. I think there's probably more tractors, but there's not nearly as many steam engines. So, I mean, people getting into it. I see a lot of people, you know, my age, I'm 30, yep. and I see, see a lot of it. I see a lot of it. I'd like to get into something with steam, but that's a labor of love. It is, and I would assume it's kind of expensive, too. Yes, very expensive. there's quite a bit of value in those nowadays. Yes. And then what kind of upkeep is it on? Well, I think it's every two or three years they have to be inspected by the state. The boiler has to be inspected. Yep. Is that a big cost to you? I don't know. I have a friend that has his boiler's license and he operates down at Now Then. Yep. And I know it's expensive, that's all I know. It's just amazing to me that they still operate and 
you know, run as well as they do. Yep. Well, if they take care of them, they will. Yeah. I suppose it's to try to keep uh, the, the, the water jackets. I suppose that's the biggest thing. Corrosion, I'm sure, is an issue. Yeah. Keep them corroding out. That must be a, somewhat of a Maybe not, I don't know. But... Well, I'm not sure. I'd have, to, I'd have to agree with the corrosion, you know, that being an issue, but I don't know how they keep it from, from corroding. I don't know if they put a special coating inside the boilers or... Well, maybe they can put additives in the water. Yeah. No, I live in a suburb of Minneapolis, so right in, right around Anoka. But even in my neighborhood, there's probably oh, I bet there's at least half a dozen people that have got at least you know one or two tractors. So you mean collector type? You yep. Mean? Most of the guys around me are John Deere guys. But I try to get a little bit of everything. Sure. I always give them a hard time. You know, I say that's great. You know all about John Deere, but what if your friend has something that isn't John Deere and it breaks down? <laughs> oh, good point. Yeah. <laughs> You're useless. Your knowledge is useless. <laughs> I believe it was a steam generated fire engine horn. Or siren, I guess. Uh -huh. I don't know that I've heard that song before. something like that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. There's another expense. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, that does it for the uh, 2016 Dalton Threshing Show. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, hope you got to see what uh, what I enjoyed seeing. Anyways, and here's till the next video. Thanks for watching.